Hello FPL managers and welcome back for another video. My name is Jack and today I'm looking at the best double game week 20 players to have in your guys teams for the upcoming game week. If you guys are looking forward to some more FPL videos, drop a like and subscribe as it really does help out the channel and there's going to be lots of FPL videos coming your guys way shortly so that'll mean you'll have to have that notification bell on to stay up to date and with that being said let's jump into the video. So these three players here are three of my favourite players to have in your double game week 20 teams that don't have a massive ownership, they aren't the mega popular options such as Erling Haaland, as most people already have those guys in their teams. The first one here is Marcus Rashford, his ownership is getting pretty high right now as it is sitting at 39%, but I still like him in the teams as at 7 million in the midfield, he's going to be a very nice pick, a very nice value option as well, especially considering the form that he's been in recently. He's got himself goals in each of his matches since the return of the Premier League season, and he's coming off two goals as well in his most recent cup game for Manchester United, so carrying in some great form to his double game week in game week 20 in the Premier League, where he faces Manchester City and Crystal Palace. Man City, yes, aren't the easiest fixture, but in derby games, anything can happen, and Crystal Palace after that is probably the easiest fixture that any team has in a double game week for game week 20, so I do like targeting this Manchester United double game week. Unfortunately, in my team, I haven't found out a way to get Rashford in the side right now, so we've opted to go for Martial over Rashford, but I still think Rashford is the best Manchester United asset to have for double game week 20, better than the likes of Luke Shaw or any other defender, just because I think these fixtures are better from an attacking perspective compared to a defensive perspective, so I definitely do like Marcus Rashford. Quickly looking at some of his stats as well, seven goals, three assists, a pretty good tally for the season, and it is a tally that pretty much matches most of the other highest scrum midfielders so far this year. His XG is also fairly high with 6.39, which is higher than the likes of Martinelli and Saka, who are two very popular picks right now as well. And his expected assist stat of 1.99 is pretty decent, and he is projected to score very well in double game week 20 with 7.5 points. This is actually one of the highest tallies amongst midfielders for game week 20, so I definitely think Rashford is a player worth considering for your teams if you don't already have him in. The second player here is Harry Cannon. He's one of my favorite premium options in FPL right now. Probably the second best premium option in my opinion behind Erling Haaland. He's got an excellent double gaming of Arsenal and Manchester City and he's gone straight into my team as well in place of Darwin Nunes. I think Kane is such a great option at 11.6. He's just a, such a nice pick. His ownership is a little bit less than Marcus Rashford at 30% right now, as he has been showed some attention by FPL managers, especially coming into this game week. And also after his 16-point haul in game week 19, where he got himself a couple of goals and an assist away to Crystal Palace, which was a very nice tally. That's taken his goal record up to 15 for the season with four assists as well. So he's provided absolutely monstrous attacking returns this year for Tottenham. And he just continues his very, very good at Premier League form for Tottenham. His expected goals figure also is the third highest in the Premier League this season with 10.7 and his expected assist that of 3.5 does rank first amongst forwards so far this year. So for that reason, I think Harry Kane is such a strong option and he does have the third highest predicted points for double game week 20 by Fantasy Football Fix with 8.9. So definitely a player worthwhile targeting and my second favorite premium option behind Erling Haaland. The third player here is a much more differential pick. I'd like to chuck in a different here in the third slot as I know he has been showed some attention recently with a couple of managers looking to move him in but I think he's such a strong option for Manchester City especially after this morning and not getting any minutes in the cup game for Man City against Southampton whereas a couple of the other Man City defensive assets that were competing for him for places were getting starting minutes so I think that just increases John Stone's appeal as he's going to be very well rested for his Premier League game which is just uh, coming around the corner now compared to a couple of those other Manchester City defenders that will have to have a quick turnaround after playing minutes in the Carabao Cup this morning against Southampton. So that's just increased the appeal of John Stones. The fixtures aren't the easiest with Manchester United and uh, and Tottenham, but they do have a double game coming up in game week 23 as well, and some decent fixtures in game weeks 21 and 22. So for the foreseeable future, I do really like John Stones, especially in comparison to Cancelo, who did play a lot of minutes this morning in their cup fixture 
So he also is a chance of not getting minutes in the Premier League there as he has struggled for minutes in the Premier League recently under some pep rotation. Whereas John Stones, he has started all of the matches for Manchester City since the return of the Premier League and he was also started consistently before that break as well. So for right now, I do think John Stones is one of the most nailed defenders that Manchester City have and since you can save nearly £2 million on having John Stones in the team over Cancelo, I definitely think it is worthwhile, especially considering when John Stones actually has better expected goals and assist stats than Cancelo despite playing in a more defensive role from open play, just shows that Cancelo isn't really getting into good positions in open play, not really creating a massive amount of chances for his teammates or chances that have a very high expected assist figure. John Stones, looking at his stats across the season, does have four clean sheets and two assists. He did uh, have a very high expected clean sheets that of 6.22, so perhaps Manchester City haven't quite lived up to the amount of clean sheets that have been expected to get. So perhaps a bit unfortunate there for Jonathan is that he hasn't had a couple of extra clean sheets and his expected assist figure of 1.22 is nearly double that of our Cancelo with 0.7. So for that reason, I'm a massive fan of John Stones. He's got better underlying attacking stats than Cancelo. He's probably more nailed on right now than Cancelo and he's £2 million pounds cheaper than Cancelo with a much lower ownership. So that's why he is a much better option there, in my opinion. And his predicted points is still pretty strong for Game Week 20 with 5.4, which does rank towards the top four defenders in double Game Week 20. So definitely a massive fan of John Stones. If you haven't got him in the team, I think he could be a very good differential to consider for the squads. Obviously, Marcus Rashford and Kane are two of the more popular picks, but I can still see managers that don't have these two players in the team. I would encourage you to get those guys in, especially Marcus Rashford, as he is very affordable in the midfield. And if you've got money to spend, I do think Nunes up to Kane, if you've still got Nunes, is the right move. And if you want to drop Cancelo down to Stones, that is a great way to fund that move up to Harry Kane as well. So three players that I do really like for the double gaming 20 teams. And in my team personally, I do have Harry Kane and Stones right now. I really did want Rashford, but I just couldn't figure out a way to get him in the side. So that's why I had to go for Martial to tick off that Manchester United attack. But three players that should perform very, very well and are expected to perform very well in double game week 20. Thanks for watching today's best players for Double Game Week 20 or players to buy for Double Game Week 20. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe because it really does help out the channel. And click that notification bell as well to stay up to date with all of the recent FPL videos as there's going to be lots more content coming your guys' way shortly. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.